Hello, 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 hello. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being you. Um, my name is Holly. I'm a psychic medium. Welcome to the channel. And uh, this is a general reading. So as with any general reading, please what take just only take what blah, 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 blah. only take what <laughs> only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Maybe at some point later, um, you can come back and watch it again and then things have a way of that's weird where's that coming from i was just going to say things have a way of recycling things have a way of repeating or showing back up or I... weird okay maybe that's a vibra theme for someone today i don't know uh as always i started before i hit record uh, asking for uh, the protectorate to be here and also to be given the information and answers that I need to present for the collective today. So, um, if so inclined, please subscribe to the channel. That really does help. Like the video if you like it, and if you don't and you're just entertained, that's cool too. But I, I, <laughs> um, you know what, if, if you don't find yourself funny, even if no one else does, doing something wrong. Um, anyway, but I love this mug so much. Um, all seeing eye, the evil eye, it, it doesn't, it, it, obviously it's not going to attract evil, it wards it off, it's a protective talisman, that kind of thing, uh, and a very old one, an ancient one. So, truth, <clears throat> oh, that my voice just went up really weird in that moment um truth feels like it's going to be highlighted today i know yesterday it was about um somebody was receiving a message um that they didn't expect unexpected news or unexpected information um today it feels like it's understanding i'm hearing the word learning learning a truth so should be an interesting day i think Hmm. All right. Um, I only pulled out uh, three decks. This one is the Archangel Power Tarot cards. There you go. They're huge, but they're very cool, and everything you need is actually written on the card. Um, it has a book, even so, but... Um, we are going to start with a message today with this deck because I feel like it's setting a tone. Yeah, they said go ahead and just open it up and pull this one. Eight of Michael. Mikael. We haven't talked to him directly in a while. I mean, he's always around. We always talk to him. I always talk to him in my head, but we haven't had a direct channel in a while. Um, which I'm just looking at the card right now. Eight of Michael or Mikael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. All right. There was a reason. Got the eye mug, asking for truth, feeling like truth and understanding and wisdom is coming. <sighs> Open your eyes and ask to be shown the truth. The hardest part about that is accepting the truth once you see it. I'm with you. I get it. We're all... Okay, they're asking me why am I shuffling these again. That was the message. Okay, you got it. Spirit is in charge. I am just the messenger. All right. Um, let's get some more messages about this because I'm curious now. It could be related to that card, um, what are you not seeing, or it could be, <coughs> excuse me, or I feel like it could be a, com I feel like it's going to be like a series of messages or a combination of messages. I just ask for, for divine guidance, understanding, and the wisdom to see the truth, know the truth, understand the truth. Guide and direct in all ways and at all times, Mother and Father God, Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides and Guardians, Beloved Elementals check protectorate uh our higher self this one is sticking in my hands eight uh or, oh another eight hmm. eight of cups 
All right, so someone walking away. Oh, and this is the pulp tarot. Uh, I don't remember. I can't remember if I said that or not. So. By walking away, you will gain greater prosperity in um, possibly finances, but in self-respect, um, emotional abundance, um, coming into your own, not second-guessing or questioning yourself. And they said to look at this one, the chariot. Things are going to start moving really fast. Get ready. Get ready. And that could, for some, I'm actually, oops. Hit, hit my little thing on the table. Um, <clears throat> for that chariot card for some, and this is a very literal interpretation, but um, that's what I'm hearing. It, I, the Spirit's saying that's, for some of you, what it's going to be, an actual road trip. So if you're thinking about it, get ready, get prepared. Some of you are going on a road trip. Hmm. Ooh. All right. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What are the other messages? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be just kind of rapid fire each card going off on a different message for someone. I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, look at the bottom. This time I said look at the bottom. The seven of pentacles, which is also the coins. She almost has like a Joan Collins look about her. The old dynasty days, you know, from the 90s. Um, I'm looking at, I mean, I know there are all this, these like bags of coins, bags of money there, but that's not the important thing. What I'm seeing is her face and her attitude. And what I'm getting is prove, prove your worth to me. This, I don't feel like is actual money in this situation. So for someone, I feel like this represents personal, intrinsic value as a human being. What is your, oh, and look at that. And this is right underneath where the one we had a minute ago. Um, and the King of Cups under that. So, ooh, okay, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. Prove your worth. Show me what you got. Mm -hmm. Show me what you've got. She's done her work. That's a woman who's not playing around. Look at her. She knows what she knows. She knows her value. So now she's saying, I know what I'm bringing to the table. What are you bringing to the table? And I feel like this is about emotions, not money. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing this one right on the top here. Oh, and the chariot again. Okay. Clearly, I did not go into this enough. All right. So, what else, spirit? What do you What do you have? What do you have for us here? What do you want What do you want the collective to know, or the portion that this applies to? Okay. You are the captain of your ship. <laughs> The pilot of your plane. Um, it's going to be like that domino effect that when one, and I'm hearing the word hairpin, so that might be significant for someone, but when you, and I'm seeing it's, it's not like the bobby pin, like what I think of a, as a bobby pin. It's like that hairpin, a hairpin curve or a hairpin turn, or when you, pull a pen out of something it's it's like it's all going to happen fast once one thing opens up it all unravels pull that thread and the whole sweater comes apart just be ready um one thing is going to unravel the whole mystery okay um, the road trip is not going to be for a couple of months for some of you. That part is a little further off. I'm even getting maybe like June, July, but 
information is going to come to light. Again, all this about information. And the moon. They're showing me that crescent moon. And the moon can often mean secrets in the tarot. So, depending on what kind of deck and blah, 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 it, it depends. But what I'm hearing right now, one thing is going to come to light. And it's going to create... It's going to be like almost pulling a pen out of grenade it, it, out of out of a grenade. It's going to it's going to ignite. Interesting for some of you, it's going to ignite a passion, and for some of you, it's going to ignite a renewal of. Yeah, for I think I think for some of you, it's going to be a renewal of passion, and for some of you, it's going to be the long road home. I'm just hearing the long road. There's, okay, I'm, there are so many, this is, I know this sounds disjointed and it is, but that's because there's a lot of different messages. If, and the very specific phrases I'm hearing. So if you hear one of those phrases, just understand that with the chariot card, what that means, and this is going to be the overarching dominant energy around this, regardless of which version of the message comes through for you. You're going to get a piece of information. It's going to start the process of change. It's going to be irrevocable change that is going to change your life. It's going to either, for some of you, start and ignite a new passion that could be physical. Um, as well as in that form of a calling and whatever, but it feels very like heated, chinka bow wow kind of passion. You know what I mean? Um, and then some of you, you're going to get a piece of information that's going to happen quickly that could change your life, but it is going to send you, it's going to send you going. It's going to send you on your own way and on your own path. And you're going to know with absolute certainty what it is you should do. And that may or may not be connected to a road trip, but I do feel like there's something happening. I almost get like July. I feel like in July, there's going to, oh, I just heard a move. So there's gonna be a move in July related to that piece of information. So I don't know what is going on with that. Tag on, man, Knight of Wands, but look at it. It's another car image. So I think that's validation for what I just said about July. Yes, I feel like someone is making a move in July. Okay. All right. So what else? What else? What else? Let's do another one for the collective here from this deck. What is the message? Because we're not finished with this one yet. I can feel it. What is the message? All right. It came out. This, the, it literally opened in my hands this way. Okay, and this is what it is. This is the first time I've had this card from this deck. Suspense, making you wait to see it, because I really need a cup of coffee. I'll show you while I'm doing this. <laughs> All right, thank you for that brief pause. All right, the strength card, card number eight. This is the third eight. Abundance and prosperity are coming your way. Also, if you turn eight on its side, it's the infinity symbol. So someone is taking a leap to their new forever home in whatever that means for you. And some of you are coming into, wow, the fullness of who you are. That kind of prosperity and abundance, the awareness and fullness of who you are. You're gonna, your power is, is growing exponentially you're going to never question or doubt yourself again well we all do i mean that's kind of stupid to say but you know what i mean in terms of the path you're on and what you're doing yeah this is interesting 
Man, I look straight up out of the 70s. It's a good thing I'm using the pulp and there's a bunch of 70s looking cards. I got like a weird Joan Jett haircut. This thing, I don't know. I'm not happy about it. And it's okay for now. It's changed. And my groovy shirt. I, I, all I need is Steve McQueen to come knocking on my door. All right. For you young ones out there. He was in a lot of movies with cars. Um, okay. The strength card. She actually looks like she's from the 40s, though. But look at the lion, man. The lion's, like, kind of reluctantly there. <laughs> Just find that funny. So, the actual meaning of this card, other than, who lion's bored, might have a little yawn there. Um, but this... I'm sorry. Um, anyway, being a little sarcastic, I guess. But the lion really does look kind of bored. Nice hair, though. So, and that's the kind of bathing suit I could rock. Because I think that's actually like a beach lion. All right, focus. Focus. <laughs> I got to focus. All right. Hey, everybody. Um, oh. They're saying have fun with this. Don't take life so seriously. They sent me off on my goofball tangent because they're like, man, stop, stop being so serious. You know, whatever happens, happens. Just enjoy your life. It does pass quickly. It passes very quickly. You will have the strength, whatever piece of information you find. Here we go. Now I'm back on track. Thank you, spirit. I needed that. Thank you. Whenever, whenever you get this piece of information that's that thread that gets pulled, that unravels the whole sweater, you know, the whole thing comes to light, that either ignites passion or creates a move. We got two scenarios here, and they, they could be, they could, they could coexist. I kind of think they're two different messages almost. Um, but regardless, you have the strength to face it. You have the strength to do it. You have the strength. Ooh, for someone, I just heard you have the strength to walk away. Mm, that takes a lot of strength. Change is, is sometimes very welcome and needed, but it's not easy. Huh. Anything else? I'm asking because I'm trying to get a clear message and it just went very quiet all of a sudden. So there's some things that are not meant to be known yet. But what they are now saying, thank you, is trust your intuition, trust your inner knowing. When they tap you on the shoulder with like a nudge and they're like, hey, pay attention to this, pay attention to it. All right, that's it for this deck. Oh, okay. All right, so we are finished with that one for today. <clears throat> Again, that weird sound coming out of me. Man, I don't know, y'all. Um, <clears throat> the Unfolding Path Tarot. I love this deck so much. I wish they had a pocket version. I mean, these are nice and narrow, but they're long. So, you know. All right, what is the message? This is going to be about the heart. This one is going to be about the heart. That one was just about logistics, truth, uh, justice, finding your place, finding your path, uh, getting fact-finding mission, and it's coming to you. You're not going to, it's like you're going to hear something and go, what? And then it's all going to make sense. Um... They're saying right here, take, take this. No, not that, this one. Okay. Yeah, this deck. All right. The one we're going to read, the reading from this deck is going to have to do with affairs of the heart. Oh, I hope not little, literal affairs. Mm, be faithful. You know. Mm. Interesting. Because, you know, I just realized the eye is only on one side. That's significant. All right, so we are going to have a reading here about, let's say, matters of the heart. 
what is it that the collect they're saying go one card at a time as they come out okay so what is it that we need to they, what does the collective need to know about the matters of the heart oh wow this is the ten of cups this is like the the happy family coming together and union and cups overflowing and full cycle something comes full, full circle so something is coming full circle uh, with uh, emotions and love okay and there's a lot of different kinds of love love of family love of friends love of a romantic partner whatever it is so um, yeah so this is a reading about having your cup overflowing with love giving and receiving is what I'm hearing giving and receiving because this is very balanced and with the 10 it's coming full circle I'm hearing finally so somebody's been waiting for this for a little while <clears throat> all right no that one was just sliding okay what is the rest of the message help us with the rest of this message what is the rest of the message for the collective about this explain more about the ten of cups please because um that's that's a pretty aloof and uh well it's just not real specific help us with the ten of cups what is the could, could you please clarify give me more information about that please Give me more information about that, please. Okay. Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles. All right. What else? That's not enough to go on white yet. What else? I saw the rabbit immediately, and that's what drew my attention, so springtime so it's that we're in the right season for whatever is happening so this ten of cups is happening in the spring what is um, this one another eight we are surrounded by eights and infinity symbols today so maybe this is going to be long term but it's coming in fast it's coming in furiously and it's coming in passionately oh so what I'm hearing is that uh, whatever's coming in or whomever is coming in, someone's coming in, someone's coming toward you. Whomever is coming in is doing so, and they mean business. That's what I just heard. They mean business. They're not messing around. They know what they want. Okay. All right. Of course it's king of swords yeah he knows what he wants all business okay why the snarkiness um usually the, all right this guy's kind of up in his head a lot he is a thinker um he is somewhat man my palms itching hmm. something's coming um, this is someone who didn't get you this is someone coming from the past so if you are okay with that then go on with it have fun if you're not then put it out to the universe hey i'm not cool with this they screwed up something something really massive would have to change but it's almost like a death and a rebirth because there is a big huge vulture on a building behind him now and that caught my eye the animals in the decks today or in this deck that's what's catching my eye so this is a dominant kind of aggressive male energy who is at, I'm hearing at the top of his game he's he's kind of got it going on right now um, excuse my familiarity but I just, um, got it going on right now um, <sighs> 
And he knows he does. A little arrogant, a little bit of an ego. But he's had to go through a death and rebirth. He's recently had a loss, and you may not be aware of it. He's recently had a loss of some kind that was sort of like a death and rebirth within himself. So when he comes in, I do feel like this person's going to be very different. That's interesting. And if it's the other person, this, this person who's watching, uh, for whomever else is there, you know, Queen of Pentacles to create this happy union, um, I'm deeply sorry for the grief and the loss because this person had to go through a massive dark night of the soul, had to go through a huge amount of grief and loss, but they are just now coming out of it and coming through it. So someone is, is trying really hard. So the question, let's ask, let's ask spirit and let's go to the, let's go back to the pulp tarot. We're not finished with this one yet. Um, let's ask the pulp tarot. So has the king of swords really, <clears throat> has the king of swords actually really changed or learned anything? I'm hearing yes. What has he learned or how has he changed? What has, what has the king, uh, can the king of swords be trusted? I just kind of went over pretty far. Let's see what we got here. Wheel of Fortune was also jumping out at me several different ways. So yeah, this person had to, this person went through something significant. Um, okay. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> so the dark night of the soul and the loss may have been losing her. Um, so I, I kept feeling like a death to me, but maybe it felt like a death to, to this person. Um, and there's the fear of losing. Yeah, the fear of loss is still there. <clears throat> this person... Um, this, this person has had loss at some point, though. We all have had loss, but it's this, it, it got like embedded in this person. So when I asked for clarification, I think, I think that King of Swords knows there's going to have to be, you're going to have to break through. This, this queen's got shields up. So that king's got to do a little proving. And that goes back to that first reading. The king's got to prove himself. Usually kings don't have to prove themselves, but king of swords, uh, yeah. All right. So, you know, give it a chance, I guess. Give it a chance. You never know. But just, you know, keep, keep that coin up in front of your heart like a little shield, and it's your world. You, you know, do what you need to do to be happy. Um, I don't think I have anything else. There was a lot of messages, though. Someone could be moving, possibly in July. Someone could be taking a road trip, maybe June or July. Um, June, yeah. June and July feel like really significant months for someone or some part of the collective. But the number eight, that is just a, a really impressive and important number so I'm just gonna leave it there I'm gonna well spirit I still feel like there's something nagging about the number eight and flip it on its side and well I'm not good spatially all right there we go infinity symbol there we are ask spirit to allow you to see with clarity to see the real truth in situations and your personal abundance will grow. And that could mean financial always, of course, but I feel like it means your personal 
self-worth, which is priceless. Yeah. So abundance in terms of knowing your worth and self-worth. And I wasn't being disparaging about Joan Jett earlier. I think she's fantastic. I'm just not good at hair stuff. Um, and that's my, if you heard that, that's my stomach growling. I'm getting hungry now. All right, so I'm going to head on uh, off here. Oh, I don't know what I'm at. I've got, I got stuff to do this morning. All right, so listen, you all. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And again, there were a lot of messages in this one. Um, I hope some of them resonated with you. And um, we're going to seek our truth and see with clarity. All right. I love you all. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you and the time you spend watching this because these are getting longer and longer it seems like thank you thank you thank you have a wonderful day have a safe day have a productive day have a good day and sometimes productivity means just taking a nap and taking care of yourself that's productive um be well with love and gratitude i thank you